Hello, I'm Leslie Logan, and today we're gonna do frogs in circles with one strap. So I really like this um, variation because it really just reveals to you which side of your body is working more than another. It's easy on this exercise to um, not notice that one leg is actually doing all the work and the other leg is along for the ride. So you're going to find out super quick which leg that is. And then I highly recommend you do a weak, strong, weak in your practice. Um, I've got two heavy springs on. I've got my extension straps on already because they would already be on before I do this. I would definitely do your frogs and circles with both legs first and then take them off. So um, I'll show you how you do that. So first we'll do a couple frogs and circles so we can see what we're doing here. Put the feet in my straps, the clasps are on the outside right, and I push out and in. This is the frogs. And then in the circles, I'm going, and I, can, I already know that my left leg is kind of along for the ride because it feels like it's being pulled around. So when I bend my knees, if I were to do my weak side first, I take my right strap off and I hook it up. You want to be able to get it again. And then I push my legs out. Now, I'm going to leave my right leg straight. You can circle it. There's no rule. This is a made up exercise. So you can circle both legs or you could just circle your left leg. I like to just circle the left leg. And so I take the leg up around and out and I go up first so that I'm going into my center. So I know how far out I can go. And I do three to five circles before I reverse. And your whole right side is reaching to keep you from falling off. Cause it's, if you lose control, hug your heels together to bend in. If you lose control of your strap guys, you're going to fall off your reformer. And we don't want that. That would be unsafe. This is just a fun exercise to reveal to you which side of your body is stronger than the other. So now my left leg will remain straight as I circle my right leg. And so while my right leg is my stronger leg, it still struggles with being, you know, graceful. But I, again, I like to go into the center before I go away from the center so I know how far I can go and then hug both heels together and bend in. And so if this was my own practice, I would do my left leg again. And then maybe I would do my frogs and circles again with both straps and to see if I can get my left leg to participate a little bit more. Super fun if you... Um, uh, know that you have one side that's just super dominant, especially people who have more of like a scoliosis, um, muscular scoliosis. You could do the weak side, strong side, weak side, and that will really do a lot of good because it's not just my leg that's circling. It was my whole opposite side that was having to work. It's a lot of obliques. It's a lot of hips. It's a lot of back muscles. So you'll have a lot of fun. Give it a try. Let me know in the comments below how you liked it. And if you um, put it up, make sure you tag me so I can give you a high five. You're amazing. Thank you for sharing my videos with all of your friends. It really means so much to me and how much we can continue to provide this work for you. So thank you. And I'll see you next time. Hi, I'm Meredith. And I'm one of the people creating online PilatesClasses.com. One of the things that I love most about this project is that we're building the very first free online catalog of Pilates exercise how-to videos. We release three new videos each week. People often leave comments asking Leslie to explain a specific exercise, and you can do that too. And if you love watching these videos and believe in the project of creating this catalog, you can support it by joining Leslie every week in her online mat and reformer classes. Just go to onlinepilatesclasses.com slash subscribe.